Welcome back to Easy Learning with Palakshi and today's our topic is English Grammar for Beginners, Tense, Part 2. Past Tense. Past. Simple Past. Formation. Subject plus second form of verb plus object. We used it in past for negative and interrogative sentences. Example, the doctor treated the patients. This is positive sentence. Hence, it is a formative sentence. They did not play guitar. Here, did is used for negative sentence. And because here we use a negative word not, it is negative sentence. Did the doctor treated the patients? This is interrogative sentence. Didn't the doctor treat the patients? This interrogative negative sentence. Here didn't is short form of did not. Use of simple past. First, to indicate an action completed in the past, it often occurs with adverbs or adverb phrases of time. Example, he left this job last year. Here last year is adverb phrases of time. He reached Singapore last week. Here last week is also adverb phrases of time. Second, the simple past is also used for past habits. Example, he always carried a gun. The wrestler used to work out for many hours every day. Second, past continuous formation was or verb plus first form of verb plus ing. Here was is used for singular subjects and verb is used for plural subjects. Example, the doctor was treating the patients. This is a formative sentence. The doctor was not treating the patients is negative sentence. Was the doctor treating the patients is interrogative sentence. And wasn't the doctor treating the patients is interrogative negative sentence. Your wasn't is short form of was not. Use of past continuous. First, to denote an action going on at some time in the past, the time of action may or may not be indicated. Example, we were watching the newly launched web series all day. When I saw him, he was studying. The electricity went out when I was reading. Note, recent actions go in simple past. Use of past continuous. Second, past habits can also be shown in past continuous sense. Example, he was always crying. Third, past perfect. Formation, had plus third form of verb. Example, the doctor had treated the patients. This is a formative sentence. The doctor had not treated the patients is negative sentence. Had the doctor treated the patients is interrogative sentence. Hadn't the doctor treated the patients is interrogative negative sentence. Here hadn't is the short form of had not. Use of past perfect. First, to describe an action completed before certain moment in the past. Example, I met her in Agra in 2016. I had seen her last two years before. Second, if two actions happened in the past, it may be necessary to show which action happened earlier than the other. The past perfect is mainly used in such situations. The simple past is used in one clause and the past perfect is used in the other. 
Example, when I reached the station, the train had departed. Second, the movie had begun before we reached the multiplex. So here, the movie had begun before we reached. So had begun is in past part is uh, past perfect and we reach the multiplex is in simple past. Fourth, past perfect continuous formation had plus been plus first form of verb plus ing the sense of form. Example, the doctor had been treating the patients since eight o'clock. This is a formative sentence. The doctor had not been treating the patients since eight o'clock is negative sentence. Had the doctor been treating the patients since eight o'clock is interrogative sentence. Hadn't the doctor been treating the patients since eight o'clock is interrogative negative sentence. Use of past perfect continuous. First, to express actions that began before a certain point in past and continued up to that time. Example, when Rina came to the school, her sister had already been studying there for five years. Difference between since and for. Since for. Since refers to specific point in time and for refers to specific periods of time. Since can be used in past and present tense, but no, cannot be used in future tense. For can be used with other tenses, including the future. Example for of example of since. I have been knowing this job since January. This is a specific point in time. And for example, I have been knowing this job for twelve weeks. Here it is telling the duration, periods of time. Answer to the question. In the previous video of this, I had asked you the question that what is wrong in this sentence or is it or is there no error in this? So the answer is that this sentence is correct means there is no error in this sentence. Why? Because we can, let's see. All the faith that she had, had, had no effect on the outcome of her life. So here, she had, had, had. Here, so had, had, these first two hats are used as helping verb and me verb. First hat is used as helping verb and second hat is used as main verb. The third hat is used to continue the sentence. So there is no error. Even if I add one more hat here, there will be no error in this sentence. It will be correct. Question for the day. Fill in the blank. When I met her, she was studying in the school dash eight years. You have to fill this blank with for or since. Now you know about past tense. In my next video, you will know about future tense. Till then, thank you.